Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain to you cataract D anterior vitrectomy level 7. In this particular level, your job is to clean up the rest of the vitreous that's gone through the posterior capsular rupture. So put in your irrigation uh, handpiece first, and then start off from the very base. And so some of the vitreous will start to leak towards your um, your vitrectomy handpiece, like it's kind of streaking over there, but that's okay. You want to try to ignore that, and instead you want to focus on getting all the vitreous that's behind the posterior capsule first. If you don't do that, then you're going to tug on the anterior vitreous um, and then bring it into the uh, bag or the anterior chamber, and that, then you'll lose a lot of points. So stay behind the posterior capsule, clean up all the vitreous first, worry about the other stuff that's coming towards your uh, port um, later. So now I'm kind of going after it a little bit more. So we're going to stain one more time. And now I'm actually staining deep. So I'm pointing my cannula behind the posterior capsule, and then I'm getting my vitrector and then I'm trying to clean up the rest of the vitreous that's stained there. Now on this particular level, if you don't clean up all the posterior vitreous, um, it's, you're going to lose a lot of points as well. So let's take a look at that one more time. Um, start off with the irrigation handpiece first. Start off at the very bottom, so behind the posterior capsule, and then start cutting. You want a relatively high cut rate. I usually set mine at about 2,000. So you're cutting, you're cutting really quickly. And then some of the vitreous is going to kind of go around your cutter. You kind of want to maybe sometimes use a uh, up and down sort of motion in order to get a bit of the vitreous and engage it properly into the mouth of the cutter. So stay there. Don't worry about the stuff that's leaking towards your port. And then start to cut a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. But there's probably some left and the machine really wants you to go after all of the vitreous. So if, when you stain you see there's a little bit more. So one of the tips I have is that you can point your cannula um, and poke it through the posterior capsule a little bit uh, where the uh, tear is and then that might stain the vitreous um, a little bit easier. So there's a little bit left. I'm going deep behind the posterior capsular rupture and then cleaning up the rest of the vitreous. So that looks pretty good. I'm staining it one more time just to make absolutely sure I'm not missing anything. And I think I'm in the clear. So we scored 197 respectively. I think I left a little bit of vitreous in the anterior chamber for the last one. So please like and subscribe for more, and thank you very much for watching.